Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win. You and Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, my Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. All right, now listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 500 likes, all right? That will definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, and hopefully you can appreciate that 9 a.m. and the 4 p.m. upload every single day, and you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today we're gonna talk about a two-way point forward build, okay? Now, it's gonna be coming from the yellow and the red pie chart, Obviously, you know, there's no such thing as a two-way point forward. It's gonna be a point forward, but it's made from a two-way build, okay? Not only that, this build is gonna get you contact dunks, okay? So there's so many crazy unique things about this. An extremely, extremely rare build that I'm definitely excited to show y'all. So you do wanna go with the red and the yellow pie chart, like I said. Then you wanna go with the speed and the vert because again, you can go pure speed if you want to, but since you're already gonna have a lot of speed already with this build, you can actually get away with going with vert and be able to get speed, acceleration, and vert, okay? So that's what we're gonna go with, right? And then here, what you wanna do is get your close shot to a 78. You wanna get your max out your driving layup. You can max out your driving dunk. Get your standing dunk to 65, all right? That's gonna give you exactly seven. Then you wanna max out your mid-range, your three-point shot, and your free throw, and then go 53 to get you exactly nine shooting badge upgrades. Then you wanna max out your pass accuracy, your ball handling, and then go 44 to get you 20 playmaking badge upgrades. Then you wanna go 76 on your perimeter defense. You gotta go 79 on your lateral quickness, 81 on your steal, 62 on your block, and then the remaining 77 for your defensive rebound. So we're just looking at seven, 9, 20, and 16. If you're looking at this already, it's so similar to a two-way slash and playmaker, okay? But once again, you're gonna be called a point forward, okay? So there's a big difference here that, you know, obviously, again, like I said, man, there's so many beautiful ways you can create a build with the um, um, pie chart system, which is why I really like the pie chart system. And um, so I know a lot of y'all might be like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, I like next gen where you can make demigod builds. But at least with the pie chart system, you can get very creative. And that's one thing that's been lost in next gen, right? Body type, you can go built or burly. Um, we go burly with this. You wanna go 6'6". Six, six. You wanna go 180 pounds. And then you wanna get your wingspan and max it all the way out to an 87, right? So let's talk about a few things here. We do know with the physicals, you do get a plus four for hitting 99 overall. You get an additional plus four for either getting gym rat or going to the Gatorade facility and doing the the, the um, workouts and they'll give you a plus four also, okay? So you're looking at a plus eight in total. So you have a whopping 97 speed, all right? 96 acceleration and a ridiculous 95 vert, okay? So you have like off the chart physicals when you go with this pie chart. This pie chart is extremely athletic, okay? Now, when it comes to your finishing, shooting, playmaking, defensive rebound, you do get an additional plus four for hitting 99 overall. So as you can see on your driving dunk, you will have an 85. So you'll be able to get the pro contact dunks and the elite contact dunks with this build, which is really good. You also have an 85 driving layup and 85 close shot. That's good also. 74 standing dunks, not bad either for a point guard. Um, then also what you're gonna see here is your mid-range shot will be a 74, your three-point shot will be a 66. So we already know shooting is gonna be really, really hard on this build. A 66 three ball is just not gonna cut it. Um, you also can have somebody on your team that has floor general, which will get it to a 70. If you have the right receiving badges, you'll be able to shoot pretty well. But with a build like this, it's gonna be really for fun and trying to make sure that you can ISO with this build and just try to get as many contact dunks or just finish at the basket as you can. Um, or you can be playing this build as a lockdown, have a play shot on your team and then get corner sitting badges to shoot in the corner. Um, you can do that also. And you obviously you can probably hit 70% of your shots with the nine badges. And we can talk about that when we get there, okay? Um, your perimeter defense will be an 83, an 86 lateral quickness, a 92 steal, 
a 65 block and an 84 defensive rebound. Remember now, this is a point forward. This is a point forward. Now you can see how I call it a two-way point forward because the fact is, is that this is a defensive build. This is a defensive build. When people look at your player card, they're gonna be like, bro, he has Hall of Fame defensive badges. Then they're gonna be like, yo, this is like a two-way, right? It just doesn't have the name in it, right? This is another one of those really, really sneaky builds, all right? Now, here you got some choices. You can go lock, you can go playmaking, go slashing. I wouldn't necessarily do shot creating, even though shot creating will help you get hit mid-ranges, but that don't not ain't gonna work. Um, what I would say is this. Me personally, I will go with slash and takeover because it gives you a plus 10 to the most categories. Um, playmaking takeover is good, but they still need to give a boost to ankle breakers. People are just aren't dropping like that. Um, and it's just not that dominant as what you want it to be. You know, if I get playmaking takeover and I only have 30, 40 seconds with that take, you know, I want to be able to at least be able to drop somebody, not what they're keep on you like, you know, holding their nuts or um like you know like you know how it is when they're trying to sit there and not drop or like playing just immediately back all the way off you you know just all that type of stuff so i just go with slash and take over and just get that 95 driving dunk and all that type of stuff and here you have my nephews and nieces this is a point forward like i said two-way point forward with contact dunks okay so now let's do this let's test this build out real quick let's get 99 then we'll get you out of here okay so let's go here let's give 99 boom um what you want to do here is get contact finisher. That's the most important one you want to get is contact finisher. Then we probably want to go slithery finisher. Um, and then let's go acrobat and consistent um, just to help with these layups. All right, so let's do that. And then on the shooting, now this is, I said, if you're going to ISO, you can go like this right here, hot zone hunter, range extender. Do not get green machine. You ain't greening like that, all right? So you probably want to go with um, volume shooter, uh, actually not. Nah. Dang, you probably, like, it's so hard with this build. You're probably better off going with just catch and shoot, to be honest with you, man. Um, you're not gonna try to shoot a lot of three-point shots with this build. You wanna try to make sure, unless you get a high zone, uh, and then if you wanna play lockdown with this build and just sit corner, if you're gonna sit corner, then you'll probably wanna go something like this, okay? Um, and then, but again, if you're isoing, you probably can go like this something like that you know get flexible release to help with your shooting but like i said shooting is going to be hard with that low three ball okay and then your playmaking obviously you want to go handles for days quick first step you want to get unpluckable you want to get bell out um then we can go ankle breaker space creator um yeah we can probably go like that all right um or you could you know if you want to get um dimer or something like that for somebody you can go like this Ain't nothing wrong with that either, okay? So yeah, it's just being creative, just figuring out what you need to do to help your teammates out. And then with the 16, you know the main ones you gotta go with, boom, boom, boom. I'm not interceptor, I'm tripping. Um, pick dodger, pick pocket, you can go like that. Um, or you can lower some things here, get rebound chaser, chase down, um, rim protector. You know, you can be creative with the 16 that you got. But and intimidating clamps, you definitely wanna have Hall of Fame, right? But anyway, there you have my nephews and nieces. This is a two-way point forward. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite O-Head Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on the Banger Man. And you know, when I say I'm back soon on the Banger, you already know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. If he caught for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop out the top of no transformer. Remember ducking and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a beat like a mighty morpher. Tell myself to get rich and go.